Hello, this is Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore. Hello there, young man. This is Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, the actor? The one and the same, I'm afraid. Now, I know you're new around here, so you're probably wondering why in the world Liam Neeson is calling into a YouTube channel that concerns itself primarily with political and social issues. Uh, Yes, actually. Well, I often wonder the same. But the truth is, I've been doing it for years. Jimmy loves celebrities of all kinds, and he loves hearing from them. But more importantly, the videos get views, lad. (laughs) I see. Well, speaking of views, I understand you had a rather cringy appearance on The View recently. Aaron, is that really what you wanted to ask me? A journalist such as yourself who has uncovered so much truth about conflict around the globe. And you ask me about vapid <laughs> AM syndicated television. Okay, fine. Liam Neeson, what do you think President Biden was hoping to achieve with his surprise visit to Ukraine? Well, to be honest, I didn't know, even though he went. So let's talk about my, about my appearance on The View instead. <laughs> okay, then. Now, I'm not generally in my element during these sorts of appearances, but this one really took the cake. So Joy Behar... You know Joy, I presume. Do I personally know Joy Behar? No. No, I don't. Well, that's shocking to me. Why? Well, you are both in the media. <laughs> I just sort of naively assumed you two knew each other. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's safe to say that Joy Behar and I are in different branches of the media industry. Interesting, interesting. I will do some of my own research into that. And remind me to introduce you two, the two of you together at the next opportunity. I think an up-and-comer such as yourself would do well to rub shoulders with titans of your own industry. I can't wait. Anyway, Joy was the very image of professionalism backstage. But once we were on camera, things devolved into a tawdry place. A tawdry place? Oh, Aaron, just the tawdriest. <laughs> Apparently, she has a crush on me, which is fine and fair. I'm well aware of the effect that I have on women, especially older, squawky ones such as her. But she peppered our conversation with so much sexual innuendo that I was made to feel very uncomfortable. And I'm Irish, so it doesn't take much. But this was over the line. Over the line? My leagues! I could barely even touch on whatever I was there to promote, which I forget now what that even was. Mm. Personally, I think people should leave matters of the loins at home and <laughs> out of their place of employment. This woman secretly desiring to have a sweaty tryst with me is fine in and of itself, but it's certainly nothing I need to be presented with on national television in the presence of five other women who naturally, as is a woman's want, were egging her on. I see. It's not that I'm personally offended. I'm quite used to being the object of female desire. As a young actor in London and then Los Angeles, I bedded so many women and have such sexual quality that sometimes I still slip into a catatonic haze simply recalling it. No stranger am I to the mysteries of Aphrodite, nor to the ecstasies of perversion. (laughs) But Joy Behar simply needs to keep that crap to herself. I mean, honestly, as if. You're right. I don't really want to be talking about this. I'd rather be talking about something that matters. Like what? What could be more important than this? I don't know. Ukraine or collapsing infrastructure, our broken political system. Young man, I know since you were in the flower of youth and naivete that these things seem like they're important. But someday, mark my words, some (laughs) 60-year-old woman will be publicly horning on you. And you will have to deal with it. And you will be glad that Liam Neeson went before you in this matter and calmly and firmly said, fuck that. Okay, this has been very informative, but I'm afraid we need to move on. Seriously, though, is this what you called to talk about? Well, why not? It was in the news. There's nothing in the news that is out of bounds for discussion on the Jimmy Dar show. That is his motto, after all. I don't believe it is. Well, it is now. I have enjoyed speaking with you, young man. I hope you've taken my wisdom to heart. I can only bid you undertake the remainder of your life journey with favorable winds. I must bid you adieu and remind you 
that Liam Neeson, dead or alive, <laughs> will be with you always. Okay. Well, thanks for calling Liam Neeson. Farewell, lad. <laughs> Doing live stand-up comedy in Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Coho's, New York, and Hartford, Connecticut. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. Get access to all our content.